Picture this. You're a child, you break an electronic toy, or if you're smart enough, open it up, and inside there is a circuit board. And on that circuit board, there is a black blob. And it's everywhere. Toys, remote controls, calculators, digital watches, pretty much any cheap mass-produced electronic product. So what is this? The short answer is, this is called a chip on board. It's the microchip that contains all the instructions and code required to make the device run. But why does it look like this when normal computer chips are usually a square or a rectangle? To answer that question, we must take a look at the process through which computer chips are made. And just a heads up, this will be very simplified and I will skip over a few processes because this isn't really the topic of this video. First, an ingot of pure silicon is cut into extremely thin slices known as wafers. Those wafers will then have non-conducting silicon dioxide deposited onto them. Now we enter a process known as photolithography, during which the wafers are coated in a photosensitive material called a photoresist, and a photo mask that contains the desired pattern is placed over them. Ultraviolet light is then shined onto the surface of the wafer, which exposes the photoresist under the photo mask in specific areas, leaving a print of the photo mask's pattern. The exposed areas harden while the unexposed areas remain in their previous state, which takes us to the next stage, etching. Etching involves chemically removing the unexposed areas down to the previous layer, leaving behind a three-dimensional print of the photo mask. That 3D print of the photo mask is then removed and a layer of copper is added to cover all the previously etched areas, which leaves behind a conductive copper pattern on the wafer. This is done many times, depending on how many layers are required, until the wafer is filled with the desired pattern. Now, this is just a very simplified explanation to help you understand the rest of the video. Branch Education have made an incredible video that goes more in-depth into the process of manufacturing microchips. I highly recommend watching it if you'd like to learn more about this. Going back to our topic, after going through inspection and testing, each individual pattern on the wafer is then cut out into what's known as a die. The bare die is then soldered onto a circuit board and has to go through a process called packaging, and this is where we split. Packaging is a process where the dye is encapsulated in a material for protection, as the dye is very fragile and any contamination such as dust particles could render it unusable. The conventional packaging method involves using ceramic, or more commonly plastic, to cover and protect the dye, and in this case, the package takes the shape of the dye, so a rectangle. But what about chip on boards? Why are they a circle? Well, this other method involves pouring epoxy resin, known as a glob top, on the die and letting it harden, which forms this protective shell. This method has multiple advantages. First, it is cost-effective for mass-produced items, though it is not cost-effective for a small series of products. In addition, the epoxy resin makes it extremely difficult to reverse engineer or replace the chip inside, which prevents hobbyists from DIYing their way into the chip inside without expensive tools. Of course, that's an advantage for the manufacturer, not the consumer, as it prevents the chip from being tampered with. And as I said, it's most commonly used in all kinds of cheap, low-end electronic products intended for mass production. And that should be the end of today's video. I hope you learned something from it, and if you spotted any mistakes, please correct me in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.